Now to the search for two squatters police believe had something to do with the murder of a woman. Okay, her body was later found stuffed inside a duffel bag inside a Kipps Bay apartment. Fox 5's Jessica Formoso is live in Kipps Bay with the day's developments. Jess. Steve and Natasha, police know exactly who they're looking for, and that's all thanks to the cameras at this building who captured the squatters coming in and then fleeing after beating the woman to death. Now, we spoke to the super of this building who tells us that those squatters have been here for at least three days. Tonight, there's a manhunt for two squatters who police say murdered a woman inside an apartment in Kipps Bay. No, it came as a complete shock and surprise, you know. Last Tuesday, 52-year-old Nadia Vital walked into 206 East 31st Street. The super of the building says surveillance video shows her getting on the elevator to the 19th floor, but never came down. By Thursday, her family and friends were looking for her. A friend called and said that they hadn't heard from her in a, in a couple of days. And so if I could go up and check. So I went up. Gene Pompey says he went inside the apartment. All he found was a dog. Shortly after the victim's son arrived looking for his mother, police were called, and that's when the gruesome discovery was made. In a closet, they found a duffel bag inside Vitell's lifeless body. The NYPD says she was beaten to death. According to police, a man and a woman who they are calling squatters had been staying in the apartment for days. They say Vitell walked in on the pair and that's when things got violent, killing the mother and then fleeing in her SUV. They went up to the 19th floor. It's like they knew they were where they were going because they didn't like try any other apartment, but went straight up to 19. These cameras in the building captured the suspects coming in on Sunday and then leaving Tuesday afternoon, the same day Vitell came in. Police believe the pair is in Pennsylvania. They fled across the George Washington Bridge through New Jersey to Pennsylvania, where they ultimately crashed the victim's car. However, they haven't been caught. Now, the Regional Fugitive Task Force is looking for the two suspects. Police telling us that one of the squatters has at least one prior arrest. However, they have not released their names or that video. We're live tonight in Kipps Bay. I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. Steve? Pretty horrifying. All right, thanks, Jess.